So a lot of women have inspired my cooking and of course the recipes in this book. And so when I say my book is the Barbie to another chef's Oppenheimer, what I mean is like my book really did come from the girls. This recipe is inspired by Nancy Silverton, whose first chef's table episode was the episode that made me realize like me loving to bake as a hobby isn't a problem. In fact, it might be the solution. You all have heard me talk about running into Carla Hall on a subway station and feeling the absolute warmth that cooking can bring out in someone. Who you haven't heard me talk about is Diane Solomon, whose cookbook I've inhaled probably cover to cover, and whose pages also prove that if you take care of the people making your food, your food can't be bad. And then there are the women like Kalu Henry and Jesse Sheehan, who I knew their work far before I knew what their faces looked like. And when I met them in person, I was like, oh, oh my God. And they were still gracious enough to welcome me into their world. And then the women like Nene Wen and Daphne Oz and Samantha Brown, who I grew up watching on television, who were gracious enough to support me when I said, hey, would you like to blurb my book? Also, when I say grew up, I was probably in my 20s. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't date this that far. And I wish I could give every single person I mentioned a video because the ways we met are great stories, but also they've had such a profound impact on either how I travel or how I cook or how I think about food. But for now, I'll just say Nancy Silverton's grilled cheese nights inspired this butternut squash grilled cheese. And her grilled cheese nights were for a small but intimate party. So I like to say it was for the girls.